Hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing? Um, it is time to unpack some more of Passion 22. Now, this is going to be extremely short because I have to go pick up pizza for youth. And I am going to youth because I have decided I am living faith over fear. I'm just praying that my car will get me there and back. <laughs> I'm just praying. All right, so let's begin in prayer. God, thank you for this time. Thank you for these messengers that you sent me on Sunday and Monday, God, and all the things that they poured into my spirit. I just pray that you would open our hearts and our minds to what you want to teach us and that you will just... Um, Help me to get this done. Help me to get to youth on time also. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I have a huge praise. I got up at 7, and it just seems like I have lots of time during the day to get things done when I get up at 7. So I think I'm going to start getting up at 7. Every morning I had plenty of time to do coffee treasures this morning, and was waiting to come in here and do this and I'm a little bit early I'm here before 5 but I need to leave here at 515 to go and get pizza so I can be there at 530 because yeah it takes about 15 minutes to get across town <laughs> in my town okay so um, the next person that came on stage was Tim Tebow I mean, I love Tim Tebow. I love his heart for Jesus. I love what he has done in the football industry to unashamedly proclaim God and wear scripture. And, you know, I just, I love, I love his heart. And so his message was um, passion for Jesus honor the name of Jesus. He talked about honoring the name of Jesus and having a passion for Jesus. And so the name of his message was Mission Possible. I loved it. Mission Possible to create a life for Jesus. So it is possible for us to create a life um, for Jesus. So he said our macro mission is to love God and love people. And our micro mission is for us individually as the unique people that God created us to be to share the gospel, to share Jesus with others. So he said we were all God's masterpiece, and that's so true. We all are God's unique creation, created to fulfill the plan and purpose that he wants in our lives. My pastor sent me songs that we're doing. Oh, I forgot to turn my light on. Hang on a second. Ooh, very bright, very bright, very bright. Let's see if I can tone it down a little bit. I really like my ring light. It makes a huge difference on the lighting in here. Okay. So a plan and purpose for all specific to each one. For us to impact others. Okay. So his scripture was Mark 4.35. So let's see what Mark 4.35 has to say. And his message was not very long, but it was so good. And I am going to see if you can go back and watch this since it's ended. But the last time I looked, I didn't see any way to go back and watch it. So I don't know whether they're going to do a video. Sometimes they do videos and they just close all of their stuff out until they get their video out. Okay, 4.35. But it was available for two days, and I'll see if it's available anymore, and I'll put the link in. Uh, probably not today, probably tomorrow. 
It says, In the same day, when the even was come, he saith unto them, Let us pass over unto the other side. So that was... Um, that was before the storm. Remember, he fell asleep in the boat, and then the storm arose, and they were just panicking, panicking, panicking. But he stilled the storm. And so they said, Who then is this that even the wind and sea obey him? He's our rescuer, our mediator. Our forerunner, our savior, the way, the truth, and the life, redeemer, ransomer, propitiation. And then Tim Tebow also gave his testimony. And he said that church is a hospital for the broken. I do not remember his testimony, uh, but it was really, when I heard it, it was really powerful at that time. But I heard a lot of testimony, and I heard a lot of stories, too. So, then he went to Mark 5, 15. Mark 5, 15. And they come to Jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil, and had the legion sitting and clothed, and in his right mind, and they were afraid. So they had known this guy that was possessed by demons for a long time. And Jesus cast out these demons and sent them into the pigs. And so his response, the guy that was delivered, was, Jesus, I want to be with you. But the people's response was, get away from us. We do not want this in our area. And so, Jesus makes it personal, the depth of the love of God for me. So, Jesus has a personal relationship with us. So, Jesus told the man to go back and share with his city what had happened to him. And he was obedient. So... I wrote in here, I will obey Jesus. I know what you saved me from. And I know the mission is possible. Mission means to send. As long as we have breath, we have purpose and a mission. We must respond to the mission. Oh, John 13, 1. My handwriting is atrocious. I'm so sorry says now before the feast of the Passover when Jesus knew that his hour was come that he should depart out of this world unto the Father having loved his own which were in the world he loved them unto the end so Jesus accomplished his mission on the cross he said it is finished and so Jesus is mission was complete and Jesus will complete he will come back and get us the rest of the prophecy will be fulfilled right now we're in a waiting pattern we're waiting for Jesus to come back and get us oh excuse me that's my reminder to go pick up pizza I have to set myself alarms. I'm sorry, I forget things if I don't. <laughs> if I don't, I just, they just, you know, go. So then they had break time and they had a dinner break. And then um, KB did the music when we came back. So tomorrow I will share with you Sadie Robinson's message which was so great about identity and every message that I heard and every message that I'm going to share with you goes so well with what this generation needs and even the older generations really what we all need we all need these messages we all need these reminders that 
following Jesus, the mission is possible. It is not impossible. It may look impossible, but there is nothing impossible with God. No, excuse me. I burped. All right, well, I am going to leave it there. And I'm going to pray. And I really don't have time to do a salvation message. I'm going to do this one real quick. But I, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do this first. So this is Keys to Life. It was tiny, tiny, tiny. It's just really hard for me to read without reading glasses. As you can see what how tiny it is. How tiny, how tiny. It's tiny. Okay. All right, keys to life. God loves you and has a great plan for your life. We were just talking about that. God has a plan and a purpose for all of our lives. Jesus said, my purpose is to give life, to give life in, it, in all its fullness, John 10, 10b. Sin separates you from God. We are all sinners, Romans 3:23. The price for sin is death, Romans 6.23. The price is already paid. God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners, Romans 5.8. Jesus bridged the gap of separation between God and man. Okay. It's free. The gift of salvation is free. Eternal salvation is a free gift. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. You don't earn or work your way to heaven by morality or religion. Jesus is the key to life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. It's up to you. To ask Jesus into your heart, pray this prayer. I'm going to say it really slow so you can repeat it. It is not very long. Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord. Forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. It is important to be baptized, to go to church, to pray, to read your Bible, and to share with others what Jesus has done for you. So if you got saved just now, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and the angels are rejoicing. Again, Reading God's Word is the best way to learn who Jesus is. And start in Matthew. Read the Gospels first before you delve into the Old Testament. Because many people delve into the Old Testament and they just get lost. And they just quit because they don't understand it. So read the Gospels first. Read what who Jesus is and what he did. Okay, and pray. Pray every day and praise. Find some praise music and praise. Okay, well, I'm going to pray real quick. i got to get out of here and go get pizza. So I'm glad, I'm thankful that I had the opportunity to jump on here and share just this little bit because I want to be consistent. God, Thank you for the time that you've given me today. Thank you for the word, the reminders, God, that our mission is possible, that we can live our lives for Jesus. It is not impossible that our, our main mission is to love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And second is to love others and, most importantly, to accept Jesus as our Savior. And thank you, God, for all the blessings that you've bestowed upon us. Please bless anyone that comes here. Provide for them. Protect them, God. Please protect Seth and I as we drive to Walnut Springs and back today. And um, 
go across town to get pizza. You never know. And uh, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Well, pray and share, warriors. Much love. Cyber hugs. Till I see you again. Good night.